Methadone, when you think of methadone, you think of methadone clinics for people who are taking methadone to overcome opioid dependence. But methadone actually is one of the most commonly used opioids for restless leg syndrome. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today I'm gonna to talk about the role of methadone for restless leg syndrome. Hopefully most of you know that opioids are considered a second line treatment for moderate to severe restless leg syndrome, perhaps the oldest treatment for restless legs dating back to the 17th century. Methadone is one of the most commonly used forms of opioids, and it has been used for about three decades at this point with significant clinical experience among physicians. This would be my second choice for opioid medications as I'm now more in favor of buprenorphine even over methadone, but methadone would be my second choice. The benefits of methadone are that it has a long half-life. It could be anywhere from eight, to eight hours to even several days. Half-life is basically the time it takes for the body to eliminate 50% of the medication. So it's a nice steady drug. It gets into the system and after about four or five days of taking it, it provides this nice steady level of relief uh, for the system. Methadone, uh, even more so than other opioids, has some anti-NMDA effects. NMDA is a chemical in the brain that might have some role in relieving symptoms of restless legs as well. Another benefit to methadone is it's dirt cheap. It costs, even in these times of inflation, may cost just pennies uh, to administer and uh, per pill. Uh, methadone's a very strong drug. So if you got bored with my YouTube video, smashed your head on your tablet or phone screen right now and went to the ER, you'd get a shot of about four milligrams of morphine. Well, one milligram of methadone is about four milligrams of morphine. So it's a fairly strong drug. And generally, I like to start patients off at about 2.5 milligrams uh, for moderate to severe restless legs, which is about 10 milligrams of morphine. Methadone also comes in a syrup where you can get five milligrams in five milliliters. So many patients can take very finite amounts of methadone whether it's two milliliters or four milliliters or 5.375 milliliters and get the exact amount that they need to relieve their symptoms of restless leg syndrome. Uh, what are the downsides of methadone? Well, one is that it has a long half-life, so it could produce uh, side effects during the day because the drug may not wear off completely. And this can be typical side effects of dizziness, nausea, or an impaired feeling if the drug effect is too strong. It can also cause constipation uh, like other opioids. But the one side effect to look out for is it can affect heart conduction more so at higher doses than you would use for restless legs. But if you're older and have electrical problems with your heart or you're on medications like tricyclic antidepressants or certain antibiotics, methadone uh, can interact with some of these drugs and, and change heart conduction. So it's good to have an electrocardiogram or ECG, EKG, uh, prior to starting on uh, methadone. But overall, this is one of the most commonly used opioids uh, for restless leg syndrome. It's highly effective, and it's one that many patients uh, should consider, but also it should be done under very strict medical supervision given the risks of opioids in terms of abuse, addiction, and other uh, potential life-threatening side effects. So as always, this video is for general medical information only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine and decisions on treatment and medical management should be made with a licensed medical provider. And as I sometimes like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.